Allergic rhinitis in childhood increases the risk of developing asthma in later life by two to seven fold. Previous studies have shown that allergen-specific immunotherapy can reduce the likelihood of developing asthma in children with allergic rhinitis. In a new study, Florida Medicaid records are being analyzed retrospectively to determine whether immunotherapy can prevent asthma in children with new-onset allergic rhinitis who don't already have asthma, and also whether immunotherapy might mitigate or even reverse asthma in children who are already diagnosed with both conditions. Previous studies have also shown that immunotherapy reduces medical costs, so this study will look at costs as well. What we expect to see, because of prior studies and publications, we have seen prospective control trials that have demonstrated in children with allergic rhinitis, intervention with allergen immunotherapy significantly reduced their odds of developing asthma, and this was demonstrated in a study that went out to five years. They were treated for three years, looked at it three years, five years, and ten years, and the significant reduction in asthma persisted at ten years, which was seven years after stopping allergen immunotherapy. And we expect to find similar findings in our study. What we're hoping is primary care uh, healthcare professionals will recognize that there's a need to identify the allergen and now we have uh, through our study evidence that it's significant cost savings in children that are treated with allergen immunotherapy. Other studies have shown that we may prevent the development of asthma and we know allergic rhinitis has a risk of up to 40 percent will develop asthma so we might prevent the development of a more costly and severe disease. So we're really hoping that people recognize that allergies are important, um, can lead to costly and more severe diseases, and that earlier interventions with strategies like allergen immunotherapy, which by the way is the only disease-modifying treatment for allergic disease currently available, will reduce costs and uh, disease morbidity.